hello my beautiful people so I um, have been filming today and when I was getting all my stuff together I guess what I found I found old Elisa Eldridge lipsticks that I bought a while ago now do you remember when I reviewed her foundation I think I told you then that I bought a few of her lipsticks and I forgot all about them I put them in the box then we went away so I thought I swatched them for you in this vlog. I already had one of Lisa Eldridge's lipstick and it's the Velvet Beauty and I bought it with the Velvet Beauty lip liner and a gloss. I think this was like a bundle and that was maybe a year ago. Beautiful lipstick so and you know how in the summer I love the brighter lipsticks so I wanted to try some of the brighter ones. So I will swatch them for you. I've got some from the True Velvet, so that's the Velvet Beauty. I also have one uh, from the Luxuriously Lucent and um, three from the Insanely Saturated Lip Color. So she has different formulas. So I need to take this off. And I need a mirror. Oh, and I also bought another lip pencil. I'm using my Ilios mirror. Uh, if you haven't seen me reviewing it, I will leave it here. And I think, I don't know what date it is today, but um, I have a discount for it till end of September. Get my concealer ready because these lipstick are very saturated so I'll have to do this in between and powder it I think I might start with the luxuriously lucent because this one is sheer to semi sheer buildable coverage with satin finish and I have the wonder wheel and Wonder Will is described as vibrant reddish pink. <laughs> Look at that. Let me swatch it for you. Oh yeah, it's not so scary because it is sort of semi-sheer. Now, I don't know what lip liner to use with it. I've got this old Kiko lip liner from Sicilian Note 04. I don't think these are available. This is so old. Yeah, this one will go really nicely with it. So, mind you, let me do it without, as this is semi sheer. You probably don't even need lip liner. Yes, lovely. I would call it sort of watermelon color. Yeah, it's lovely. So if you would like to wear a bright lipstick but you don't want it to be too in your face, this um, luxuriously lucent ones are a good idea. And you can build them up. Obviously they won't have the same stain power like matte lipstick or satin lipstick. But yeah, this is a really lovely. This is nice just to throw throw on, you know, you don't have to be too careful. Uh, I've done it without the lip liner. Just to add brightness to your face, but it's not too much in your face. So yeah, really lovely. Let's look with the lip liner. Yeah, this lip liner really matches it. But you, you can't get this lip liner anymore. I think I will apply the Velvet Beauty next. You've probably have seen me wearing that one before. So this is Velvet Beauty. 
and this is saturated high pigment with velvet finish creamy matte with slight sheen and it does look very velvety obviously I've used it before so you can but it does look like a velvet fabric L really gorgeous so I am going to use the lip liner that is matching I don't know how to describe this colour, it's like a dark pink, mauvey pink. So this is the True Velvet and it really looks like velvet. It looks like a proper matte lipstick but it doesn't dry down to a matte, like a liquid matte lipstick and also feels very very creamy so it's very pretty. Let me just apply the lip gloss which is in Velvet Beauty as well or just Beauty because that makes it a bit shinier and a bit more vibrant absolutely gorgeous love this one okay on to the next one. Oh, I didn't switch swatch that one on my hand for you so that's the velvet beauty shall I leave them all on my hand actually so you can compare them so there was the one they will I've changed the mirror because I was sitting that way and my back hurts now because remember I've been filming all day anyway today <laughs> so now let's go to the insanely saturated lip colors and these are full-on creamy full coverage demi matte lipsticks so I have rainbow spill which is described as bright watermelon pink with muted pastel neon edge so it's very neon oh my goodness so this is the rainbow spill it is neon and it looks very similar to the wonder wheel but the wonder wheel is that semi sheer so if you love that bright lipstick but you don't want it to be obviously that neon then those lucent lipsticks are probably a good idea so again I can use that Kiko lip liner with it you don't need lip liners with those because they are so saturated but I find it difficult I just smudge the lipstick all over me um, I've got a problem that my natural lip line doesn't show in the corners of my mouth right look at it very saturated you just need one swipe wow that is beautiful okay so that was the rainbow spill now the next one from insanely saturated lip color is skyscraper rose So this is um, described as fuchsia pink with red undertones and I feel like this looks very similar to Charlotte Tilbury's Velvet Underground and I always use the MAC Beat lip liner with it 
so I will use it with it. I will compare them actually later to Charlotte Tilbury. So this is Skyscraper Rose. Let me swatch it on my hand. So that's the skyscraper rose. Okay, let's take that off and we do the last one. Okay, and the last one is called New Wave. Wow. So this is described as bold magenta cyclamen with cool blue undertones. That looks gorgeous. So I couldn't decide between this one and the carnival because this one and carnival looked similar. So what I did, I got carnival lip liner and carnival is described as pop art pink electric pink with blue undertones so i thought this might go together let's swatch it on my hand so this is the new wave gorgeous and let's swatch that lip liner next to it that's the lip liner so yeah it's slightly lighter but sort of the same tone so i'm going to use this lip liner for this lipstick wow Yeah, this is a bit darker than the lip liner. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. So this one has proper blue undertones reminds me of like late 80s 90s gorgeous i think this one might be my favorite i love all the other ones but i feel like a couple of them are similar to charlotte tilbury so let me now compare the so the rainbow spill i think it might be similar to electric poppy from charlotte tilbury yes it's very similar so that's the rainbow spill and next to it is electric poppy from charlotte tilbury i would say that the charlotte tilbury is a bit darker now i think that the skyscraper rose this one is similar to the velvet underground from charlotte tilbury yeah can you see the charlotte tilbury is a bit darker slightly more muted whereas the uh, lisa eldridge is a bit no it's here the lisa eldridge is a bit brighter a bit more neon and now the charlotte tilbury coral that used to be called Coachella Coral and that's what it is because it's really old but it's called something Coral, the same lipstick. I wonder if this is similar to the Wonder Wheel. Yeah. So I basically now have three lipsticks that look the same. 
So this is the Wonder Wheel by Lisa Aldridge and this is the Coral by Charlotte Tilbury. So if you have those three, you don't need the other three from Lisa Aldridge that I've shown you. Although the Charlotte Tilbury ones are slightly different finish, but these feel really, really lovely. I love those lipsticks. So the new wave is something that I don't have and the Velvet Beauty are totally different but the other three I already really have in Charlotte Tilbury but I'm going to enjoy them because they are slightly brighter than Charlotte Tilbury yeah they are definitely brighter especially you can see it on the lips than Charlotte Tilbury well I'm glad I found them because I don't know how I forgot about them anyway I'm gonna go now because I've been sitting here for three hours filming my back hurts I will see you tomorrow good morning so I'm just getting ready washed my hair my roots are so big that my hair I need to wash it every other day you know once I've had my roots done a bit of bleach damage I can go for five days without washing my hair but because of the big roots it gets pretty bad pretty quickly but I'm having my hair done on Wednesday I think um wanted to show you this robe that I just bought because it's so lovely but um let me just finish drying my hair and then I move you somewhere else and show it to you Okay, so this is the gown. So the story is when um, we were in Devon, they provided us with these waffle towels, just ones like you get in, in a spa. And they were so soft. And I have a short cotton waffle gown, but it w it's not that soft. It's a bit scratchy and I thought, I loved it so much because also it's so thin, so perfect for summer. Because I have this one, um, which is like a toweling with a hood, lovely gown, but it's so hot in the summer. So I thought, where can I get gown like this till I remember about the white company and that's where this one is from as well they do the most amazing you know bedding and um, nightwear and stuff like that so I found it there and it's so lovely it's full length but what I like is got three quarter sleeves because especially in the summer you don't want really long sleeves and also when you're washing your hands or whatever it's hard with a big sleeve to pull it up so that was really good um mine is in size medium i could have gone for small because as you can see the pockets overlap each other but i prefer that you know when you sit down that it doesn't open it is full length oh and i got matching slippers <laughs> and they are really nice they have like toweling inside um, yes, that's how sad I am. I like to match even when I get out of the shower. <laughs> I like to have matching slippers and gown and never mind. Yeah, so hopefully you can see it. It's quite long. And it's like the softest cotton ever. Um, so yes, I thought I'd just share it with you just in case um, just in case you were after something like it. Paul likes it so much that he said he might get it for himself. I, I don't think that these are um, unisex because they do a lot of unisex, like this is unisex. Uh, but I thought, well, what does it matter? You know, he just gets a bigger size and he can wear that as well. Right. Um, I think what we might do today is to go... Let me pick that camera up. Um, I think what we might do today is go to... Do you remember last year when we have maybe a mile away, like a community orchard? And remember we went there last year to get some stuff. They do apples, pears, plums, but because last summer was so, so hot that everything was really dead 
so uh, we are going to go today because I want plums I love plums so much and they have lots of plum trees there so when we take Louis for a walk we might as well go and get some plums are you in Louis? Yay. Were you very hot? Oh, it might be a bit deep there. You might have to swim. He's almost, look, look. <laughs> He's almost swimming. He doesn't like swimming. He only likes to paddle. Is that better? Is that better? So we've made it to Orchard, but again, there is not much here. Can't see any apples, unless people already, have already raided this place. <laughs> yeah, these are apple trees, but there's no apples on them. But I am really interested in plums. So these are the plum trees. Nothing really grows well here. I don't understand why. Used to have loads. Do you reckon people? Oh, there are there are some people here. So, oh yeah, there is the plum tree, but uh, there's no plums, Paul. No plums whatsoever. We have two plums, but they are too ripe. I don't like them when they are that soft. I like them a bit harder. Right, oh, there's lots of apples there. Don't know if you can see. Can you see? There's lots of apples there. Paul's going to get them. I might have to go there with him. I've got a bag to put them in a bag. But I didn't want apples, I wanted plums. Very disappointing. As disappointing as last year. I think even last year there was a bit more um, plums there. I don't know. Well, I just get a few apples. I don't even know if they are cooking apples or edible apples. I think there is a board somewhere here that tells you about all apples that they grow in here we obviously have come too late all the vegans been here before me good morning so i've had my roots done so happy because i couldn't cope anymore with washing my hair every other day and i had quite a lot of hair chopped off it's quite short um, I like to do that now and again just to get rid of the dead ends. And tomorrow Louis is going for his haircut. <laughs> we always seem to have our hair done at the same time. I'm very excited because this weekend we are going to go and look for new sofas. So you probably know how much I hate my current sofas this dark brown leather they look so oppressive to be honest I'm not I don't really even like leather sofas but we always had leather sofas because we've always had dogs and they are easier to clean so I don't really know what to choose if we will find anything one requirement is recliners. We have to have recliners because we are both lazy so-and-sos and we love our sofas. We spend a lot of time on our sofas. Um, I even work reclined on, on a sofa. I edit my videos on there. I've got some annoying piece of hair. So recliners are must. But now fabric or leather. If I get leather, I want 
light color like top or something but then I worry they're gonna look really dirty quickly I remember we, we had um, cream leather sofas years ago and you know the dye from your jeans was coming off on that and it was so difficult to to clean so but then fabric I know they do them with all these safeguards and whatever but if you spill something on that that's difficult to clean so I really really don't know what to do so it will be fun looking for a new sofa um, I know that a lot of leather sofa recliners that I like they do in fabric as well but they never have fabric that I like so I really don't know what I'm going to do and as you probably already know I am very indecisive person <laughs> so I I doubt that I will come out of those shops at the weekend and know exactly what I want but we will see and another thing is uh, to agree with Paul that we both like it because he he's not fussy about any type of decorating I do in the house but to him sofas and the bed <laughs> are very important so we have to make decision together on those two and yeah it's only right you know he sleeps in a bed he sits on the sofa as well um, so yes that's gonna be fun but still I'm looking forward to it because I love going to furniture stores anyway <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, I am going to finish this vlog here. I hope you have a nice week and I will see you in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.